Well, go to Hebrews 4 and I'll explain to you why. Because a, a simple understanding of what the Sabbath means and what it represents helps us to understand why Jesus was right to work on the Sabbath, but why everyone else was not supposed to work on the Sabbath under the Old Covenant, under the Old Testament. And it was fulfilled in Christ. And Hebrews chapter 4 explains to us how the Sabbath was fulfilled. And if you understand this, it makes perfect sense why Jesus worked on the Sabbath. And that's why they wanted to kill him. Because he's working on the Sabbath. Okay. Now look if you would at Hebrews 4 verse 3. It says, For we which have believed do enter into rest. And by the way, this chapter, I mean almost every verse of this chapter is about rest. And it specifically talks about the Sabbath day. He says, For we which have believed do enter into rest. As he said, as I have sworn in my wrath, if they shall enter into my rest, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world. For he spake in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise. And God did rest the seventh day from all his works. And in this place again, if they shall enter into my rest. Seeing therefore it remaineth that some must enter therein, and they to whom it was first preached enter not in because of unbelief, Again, he limiteth a certain day, saying in David, Today, after so long a time, as it is said, Today, if you will hear his voice, harden not your hearts. So what have we seen so far? The Bible, first of all, told us that we which have believed in Christ have entered into rest. Then he talks about people not entering into rest, and he says they did not enter into rest because of their unbelief. Okay? And then it says, in verse number 8, I'm sorry, yeah, verse number 8, for if Jesus had given them rest, then would he not afterward have spoken of another day? There remaineth therefore a rest to the people of God. Watch, watch verse 10. For he that has entered into his rest, he also hath ceased from his own works, as God did from his. Let us labor therefore to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. So over and over again in this passage, if you believe, you've entered into rest. Those who are in unbelief, have not entered into rest. He, he repeated that basically four times. Okay. And he's saying here what it means to enter into rest is when you've ceased from your own works as God did from his. Because he said when God created this world, God spent six days creating the earth. And he rested the seventh day. And the Bible's saying when he rested the seventh day, he ceased from his works. And the Bible compares that to being saved. He says, when you've believed on Christ, you've entered into rest because you've ceased from your own works, as God did from His. That is what the Sabbath represents. Now look, if you would, at uh, Hebrews chapter number 6. I didn't have this in my notes, but it just kind of popped into my mind. Over in Hebrews 6 verse 1, it says, Therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us go on to perfection. Not laying again the foundation of repentance from dead works and a faith toward God. Of the doctrine of baptisms and on and on. I like what Brother Garrett said in a sermon that he preached in the preaching class. He said, you know, faith, he said, dead faith is faith without works. Dead works is works without faith. Okay. And here when he says dead works, these are people that are not saved. Right? But they're doing works. And the Bible says that the beginning point of salvation is repentance from dead works and faith toward God. Because you see, most people that aren't saved, but they think they're saved, what are they trusting? They're trusting their works. Okay? And the Bible says we can't trust in our works and still be saved. We have to repent from trusting in our works, and we have to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's called entering into His rest. Why? Because you don't work your way to heaven. The Bible says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. And the Bible says, But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. So look, you don't work your way to heaven, you rest your way to heaven. Amen. You rest your way to heaven. And you say, Oh, that sounds great. That sounds great. You know, now look, I'm not saying we don't do any work, but you know what? The work that we do has nothing to do with getting us to heaven. Because salvation is a Sabbath of rest where we just, God did all the work. We just rest in Him. And here's the thing. In order to be saved, we have to cease from our own works. Meaning that we can't try to work our way in. We have to give up on that and say, you know what? I can't earn it. I can't work for it. It's a free gift. I just need to receive it by believing in Jesus Christ.
Okay, so, and, and look, that's what this is teaching in Hebrews 4. He says over and over again, if you've believed, you've entered into rest. If you haven't entered into rest, it's because of your unbelief. And he says, he that has entered into his rest, he also has ceased from his own works, as God did from his. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. So the Bible is crystal clear here, and he's spending an entire chapter, virtually, in chapter 4, explaining to us the significance of the Sabbath. That is a great picture of resting on what Christ has done, ceasing from our own works, and just believing in Him. And that Jesus will give us rest. Not limited to a certain day, He says, but that Jesus Christ will give us rest if we cease from our own works and trust in Him. Now.